When I left Seattle, I knew wherever I went next, I wanted to still be able to compete for a championship. The team in Washington that I was going to in 2021, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to do that. The second AC showed up, she changed this place. Unfortunately, she was injured the first year, but for me, it actually really helped me because we had each other in the whole rehab process. We saw the daily grind that each person was going through and it was just kind of able to lift me up, especially because I had been rehabbing what felt like forever. So having her like saved me, gave me that boost. And I kind of like forced her to be my veteran because I just knew how much she brought to the Seattle team. So when I saw that I was going to be on the same team as her, I was like, oh, this is a phenomenal opportunity for me. And I wanted to take full advantage of it. Even when she wasn't on the court, the coaching that she provided, the little tidbits she would give in a scout uh, was just so crucial. She took us from a mediocre defense to the best defense in the league. Like, that was her. Into Harrison, she's double, taken away by Clark. I mean, that's big time defensive work there by the Mystics. Yes, we had great defenders, but we were missing that piece, that person on the floor that would coach you up, that just knew every play the other team was running. She has just been masterful at like that. And that's why we were able to win such huge games, especially the ones against the Aces. Yeah, she killed us because we, you know, we're, we're worried about all these other people. And I think she had 20 on us of like six of seven from three or something like that. You know what I mean? And I remember the coaches being like, what the hell? Like, what are we supposed to do? And we didn't, we didn't know either. Oh, Bones, 20 points. Get going, girlfriend. Get going. <laughs> hey, good luck. I'm watching as much as I can, love you, bye-bye. We would always make sure that that phone call was made because she needed to know that we were behind her 100%. And Dwayne did most of the talking. Hey, well, y'all better run him off that court. Then get him tomorrow. You know, he was always just like full of life. He lit up any room he was in. His laughter was like infectious. <laughs> Man. What are you doing, Alicia Clark? Y'all kicking ass, real friend. Y'all kicking ass. Man, I would hear him sitting in his room on the phone, calling his friends, family, just, you need to, you know, get on this channel or that channel. My daughter, Alicia Clark, she's playing for this team. She's playing, you need to watch the game. She's in the WNBA. I know she attributes a lot of her characteristics, her work ethic, her hard nose to him. We saw him here, we saw her love for him, and basketball being their thing. Like, he was always her rock. That was a tough battle last night. Time to climb back aboard. I'll be watching, love you, bye. Season had ended in DC. I was actually on my way to Seattle, and I get a call from my, my younger sister, and she's like screaming, crying. And all I could hear her say was, He's not breathing, he's not breathing. And she said he's gone. <laughs> I just remember in that moment, like, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way this is real. <laughs> it wasn't something that I was ready for. And so to be in a position where one of your favorite people on earth is just snatched from you in a way that you couldn't do anything about uh, was something that I had such a hard time and still have a hard time with. My dad was cremated and so I had seen like you could get their ashes put in jewelry. A friend of mine helped get these necklaces made so I asked my siblings and my brother-in-law pick something that like reminded them of their relationship with my dad. Each of us have that peace, that connection with him, and then having his ashes in these necklaces, it makes you feel like he's always with you. <laughs> and like to combat the sadness that I feel of him not being here, like that whole, I wanted something to like be a joyful reminder. And so my tattoo is that, it's of my, like my favorite picture of him and his smile. He is my biggest why. Um, he was my biggest fan. She's trying to make up her mind of where she should go in free agency. She was over in Israel playing, and she was stopped at a crosswalk, and a man in Israel walked across the street in a Raiders jersey. That was dad telling her where she needed to be, how she could impact this team, and she took that as a sign from her dad of where she could fit the best this season. This being Vegas and 
the Raiders and where we grew up and, you know, Becky, my first vet. There was just so many things, so many layers, so many components that just made sense. I would say this is probably her biggest year of growth and I've known her since we were 18 years old. And this is probably the hardest task. Not a championship, not a Euro Cup, but living after the biggest person or the biggest influence of your life is not with you to give you that phone call to say, let's do this. I'm glad she has everything that she's doing because it can keep you going. If you stop, the grief can get super heavy. But she knows he would want her to push on, push forward, and get that ring. I can't even imagine being away and having to hear that. It's, it's, it's hard. I don't know how she's doing it, but I think some of us, she's covering up because she doesn't. She knows I'm hurting. They all do. So she doesn't want to burden me with her grief. She's trying to be strong for me and I'm trying to be strong for them. I think my heart hurts for her more throughout this whole process than it does even for me. For me, honoring him was showing up and being strong, because that's what he did. To me, one of the biggest factors is just her as a person in the locker room. We're a tight group and who you allow to infiltrate and become a part of your fabric is very important. She is going to be the most valuable piece to this Vegas Aces team. Four three balls for Alicia Clark and her 300th made three of her career. She's won before, and when you have somebody in your locker room, a veteran leadership that when things need to be said, um, you have that voice and people respect it. And I don't think it's a coincidence that you know, she's been one of the key pieces of for us this entire journey, just filling in whether people have gotten hurt, foul trouble, and who steps up, AC. Clark gives them that versatility. She's going to be hugely important the rest of the way for the Vegas Aces. She's always continuing to learn and to grow, and players like that, they will always be at their highest because they're constantly learning. I enjoy coming to work every single day. Just the way that we pour into one another and the way that every single person is valued on this team for what they bring. When she got the call from Kathy that she was sixth player of the year, I was like, oh, we gotta make a shirt. I just said, whatever you do, put Sly on that shirt. It was just so cool to to see her get the love that she deserved. Because it's hard, it's hard to do kind of a lot of the dirty work and not really get appreciated statistically and things like that, but man, this team loves her and uh, we appreciate her. This wasn't something I set out and was like, okay, this is gonna be my goal, I wanna be sixth player of the year. My goal simply was this year was to step into this new role and be the best at it that I could be. The candidates all were very worthy, like everybody made an impact on their team, but I truly feel like my impact and my versatility in that space of making an impact one through five was something that nobody else was doing. I wanted to make sure that there was some type of physical representation of our dad at the game. I picked a picture where he was in his element, he was playing his kungas, Mike's right there, and you can just see the joy in his face, how happy he was. I wanted that happiness and that joy that that picture exudes to come out and uh, just show her like, you know, he's, he's here, I'm here to support you.
We've had conversations, we've both lost our, our dads, which were not just our dads, they were our best friends. They were, you know, our rock, basically. And to me, what's more impressive is hers is more raw. Hers is new. My, mine has been a couple years and I understand the healing process, but to watch AC just play the way she did under that type of emotions, you know, that goes with the loss of, of your best friend, I mean, it's really tough. I think watching her and observing her and listening to her, it's actually almost like motivating her that she knows he's watching. And I think every game, every minute, every rebound, like every charge, whatever she, you know, she does out there, it's for him. And I think a lot of times when you're dealing with that kind of grief and heaviness, it can be really easy to go inward and not be giving of yourself because you're already in shambles. And so I think how she still gives out of her grief has been amazing to watch. Being a positive influence role model to people, to young girls, young children, that they see that they can be something better, greater, whatever they want to be, whatever that may be. Alicia is a, an extreme professional and she's dedicated to her craft and people love her everywhere she goes. That's a testament to, I believe, our parents. They instilled in us, you know, just because don't, don't quit. Things get hard, don't quit. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. You never know when your time's gonna come up to, to be the next one up. The floor leader for the Aces, the no doubt about it, best point guard in the world, out now here for game four. I mean, how does Vegas absorb this loss? I'm the light. In your darkness. That's the reigning sixth woman of the year, and we all know when she plays, they still have great odds. She's a pro's pro in this league, and she's also one of the best defenders. She is not faced at all by the position she's been thrust in on this stage. This is somebody who has won multiple championships in this league and also excels in the finals that she's played. know when you're going to get this moment, within, when you're going to get this opportunity, regardless of what team you have. We've been going through adversity all year, so I think we're kind of built for it. So uh, I, I look at it as a great opportunity, somebody else's opportunity to step up as well. Alicia Clark up into her former teammate Brianna Stewart. Well, this is why exactly we went out and got Alicia Clark, was for moments like this. Alicia Clark has not let Brianna Stewart get any easy looks throughout the course of these finals. I mean, Stewie was 3 of 17, and Alicia was a big reason for that. She is relentless defensively. Stewart on the drive, misses the layup, and a charge is called. And then even down the stretch, like, she had some huge buckets. Into the lane, Clark lays it in. It's a one possession game. I was literally in like raw mode. She cannot score this bucket. Six seconds left. Laney to the corner. Anders lose. No! An unforgettable finish to game four. I just turned around and ran. And the first person I saw that was like this was Becky. <laughs> Her being my first vet, being in San Antonio, you know, then being here in Vegas, she was the one that I celebrated with first. The WNBA has a back-to-back -back champion. Your dad is How do you dedicate this win to your dad? I showed up every day because I know he loved watching me play. And I said, you know what? Every day, every game before the game, my prayer is pops. I hope I make you proud. I hope you're sitting there. Joy is watching me play. That's my prayer every day. So that's how I show up on the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Of course, I'm going to on your defense, bitch. Oh my God. He believed that I was more than capable of being in this position. And so to be able to cap off this year, this phenomenal year, 
with a championship, I know he would have been like through the roof. Knowing I have him as my guardian angel, every time I step on this floor, I'm like, sucks wherever's in front of me. <laughs> they don't mess around and let this little country girl be a three-time champ. If it wasn't for this group, if it wasn't for y'all's support, I would not have made it through this year. Pops, this one's for you, baby!